a KQED television production. Right now, I am hungry. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by Redwood Credit Union, community banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Business and personal, online and mobile, plus nationwide ATMs. Banking for people who call this place home. Sutter Health CPMC announcing its newly opened Mission Bernal Hospital with all private rooms and comprehensive labor and delivery services. SutterHealth.org slash Mission Bernal. Total Wine and More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine and More, now with eight Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. IRG has thousands of surfaces in stock now. Surfaces. Selection. Service. IRG at MarbleCompany.com. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check Please Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests, and each one recommends one of their favorite spots, and the other two go check them out to see what they think. Music is everything to musician Randall Wu as he plays guitar in a heavy metal band. Like his music, he doesn't <laughs> take food lightly. Exploring new flavors and discovering new places to share with friends has led him to a restaurant hitting all the right notes. And grief recovery specialist and relationship blogger Jocelyn Williams grew up in the East Bay and still remembers sitting on her grandfather's lap to eat off his plate. Her family's southern roots taught her that food is meant to be a shared experience, leading her to favor eateries with a family feel. But first mom of two, Angela Diaz, misses her middle school teaching job sometimes. Her kid-centric life has given her a unique perspective on which restaurants are adult-focused and babysitter-worthy and which ones are kid-friendly. Luckily, her pick is the latter. Run out of a silver airstream with enough space for the kids to run free, it's Italy meets Louisiana meets backyard barbecue. In San Francisco at All Good Pizza. I've been in the restaurant business since I can remember. And when I had my son, I left the restaurant business to work for a nonprofit in Guatemala and in southern Mexico in Chiapas. And we ran an education program that combined financial literacy training and microcredit loans to support women in small businesses there. And I kept thinking to myself, like, this is something that I should recreate in my own neighborhood in Bayview. So I bought this food truck and uh, got it going. Hi, I'm Kristen Houck and I own All Good Pizza in the Bayview District of San Francisco. I moved to Bayview uh, 15 years ago and at the time it was a different landscape. There weren't a lot of restaurants. It really did typify a food desert. There's so many great resources here in the Bayview, like Molinari Salami, who's been here for decades, as has Evergood Sausage Company. We've used both of them. We've got the produce market here. We've got tons of bakeries. I really tried to build it in a backyard style, so I wanted it to be kid-friendly. I wanted parents to be able to come here and hang out and enjoy a glass of wine and have pizza and let the kids kind of run around and feel safe. And I wanted it to feel like it was in celebration of this area. We've got the best weather, we've got a very neighborhood vibe, and I really wanted that to be celebrated at All Good. All right, Angela, first off, how many kids do you have? Two. Two. Three and five years old, both oh, girls. Oh, your, your hands very, are full. Very, very busy, very busy. And so I was looking for local pizzerias, and I found this, and when we came upon it, I'm like, oh my god, how have I never discovered this before? It is the best place to take kids. It is so hard to find a restaurant where kids are welcome, they're allowed to act like kids, and the food is really delicious, well-made food. 
I always start with the arugula salad. It is really an art to have such few ingredients and make them taste good. It's got the acidity of the lemon and that pepperiness of the arugula and the pine nuts give it that crunch that is just, you need you need that texture in a salad. Right. And my daughter is a pepperoni girl. My oldest daughter, pepperoni, more pepperoni the better. And my little one loves the margarita. I, on the other hand, am a huge fan of the hot link one because I like spice. And I, it, I've i never seen a pizza with hot links on it. And I love hot links and I love pizza. Why would they not be delicious together? <laughs> the star of all of the pizzas though is the crust. It's got It's the Napoleon style. Mm -hmm. So you have your New York style, you have your Chicago style. I'm married to a New Yorker, so he can be pretty partial about his pizzas, and he loves it there. It's got that chewy, chewy crust with like the brown bits that are on the bottom from the wood firing. So, Napolitano. exactly, yes. exactly. Absolutely. And the owner, Kristen, created it because she has children and she wanted a place where kids are welcome and kids are allowed to be kids and they're allowed to run around free. I mean, so maybe some people's kids sit still in a restaurant, but mine are not those children. <laughs> so it's nice to have a place where it's okay that they run around. In fact, right. sometimes we bring a ball or some like different games right. for them to right. play. And but you don't around. have to have kids to no. eat at this right. place, yeah. right? No. What was your experience, Randall? I thought it was a really fun atmosphere because it's like kind of like a food truck park. That's mm -hmm. what it reminded me of. Yeah. So you just yeah. order at the bus yeah. or whatever. Then you you know you sit down at the picnic bench like. Really fun environment. Did you have like, a band there? Did you go on the no, weekend? Oh, no, on the weekends they have that. bands oh. and people are up and dancing yeah. and everybody's having a good time. So next time go on a weekend yeah. when you have the band. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get to eat? They had the Nola Muffaletta sandwich. I My thought that was favorite. pretty good. My yeah. husband <laughs> loves the muffaletta. It has like an olive salad, yep. and then they put some uh, salami and ham. Yeah. A little bit salty. I mean, with those ingredients, I mean, that's kind of yeah. what, you, what you're right. asking for yeah. anyways. Yeah. And then I also had the Italian sausage pizza. Mm -hmm. I think that was definitely the standout of the meal for me. The crust was really good, like Perfect. that nice Perfect. chewy yeah. crust. But unfortunately, the one I got was a little bit burnt on the bottom, oh. so it got that little bit of that bitter taste. But you could tell like all the ingredients were quality ingredients because yeah. you mm -hmm. had like a cool ricotta, the salty sausage, yeah. and then salty capers too, mm -hmm. and then some uh, little chili flakes. So I really enjoyed the pizza. I had the sausage pizza also. Oh, I had sausage and the um, prosciutto pizza. Mm, prosciutto, and second so, favorite. Yeah, <laughs> the, and I wish I got that linguisa one also. Yeah. I was sitting there deciding which one, <laughs> which one, and I was like, I know I'm going to regret not getting that linguisa. So I happen to be a super tomato sauce girl, so it's really light on the sauce, mm -hmm. so that was the only oh. thing that bummed me out. But I love that there's a super creamy cheese that they put on the pizza, and yeah. so that, that was like my favorite part of it. And they do it the real Napoleon way with like if you have a fresh ingredient on top where like the prosciutto one they put the arugula on after so it's yeah. fresh it's not cooked on after which some people do but that's not real you got to put it on yeah, exactly absolutely and they have yeah. local beers which I love I who doesn't love a beer with their pizza I mean pizza and beer it's a classic combination so they usually carry you know Laguanitas or something you know Bay Area brew mm -hmm. um, my daughters both love their lemonade mm -hmm. they have fresh squeezed lemonade and hibiscus lemonade which is actually really good too so I loved it so. Did you uh, enjoy the Cuban sandwich? That was my favorite. I would go back for that all day, every day. So the Cuban sandwich has um, this delicious ham. And you know, sometimes ham, when it has that, like the little bit of a fat feel to it. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes mm -hmm. people don't like to talk about fat, but fat is delicious. Oh, yes. That's where yes. all yes. it is. Right. That flavor is flavor. Yeah. That's where yeah. all the flavor is. So they have, it's, it's sliced thin enough where it's never gonna be too chewy. So you can eat through mm -hmm. all that delicious fat. And it had a, a special mustard, like a tangy sweet mustard in it mm -hmm. that set it all off. So like I could, if they gave me a side of it, I could just dip yeah. in that mustard like all day. It Mustard's so like good. a Cubano. And what about service? I mean, this is a casual place, right? Mm -hmm. It is, it is. Yeah. Everything is, you know, walk up to the trailer. Yep. But they are always so friendly. They will sit there and answer any questions. I mean, and they're very involved in the community. The, they really are. They're very. Mm -hmm. I love that neighborhood. I love Bayview Hunters Point. It is really getting, you know, revitalized, and it really has a urban San Francisco neighborhood feel. It's not your touristy San Francisco. Yeah. I, well, I've never really seen a restaurant like this mm -hmm. ever. <laughs> like ever. It's like a part picnic, part nursery, where there's all these plants mm -hmm. around. Right. So it's, it ha definitely has its own feel. It's very unique. All right, Angela, your spot, wrap it up for us. Whether you have kids or you don't have kids, if you want some of the best pizza in the Bay Area, visit All Good Pizza. All right, and Randall. 
a fun place to get a well-made pizza with quality ingredients. And Jocelyn, for good pizza and great sandwiches in a picnic environment, go to All Good Pizza. All right, if you would like to try All Good Pizza, it's on Gerald Avenue at 3rd in San Francisco. Telephone number is 415-933-9384. It's open for lunch Tuesday through Sunday. Reservations are not accepted, and the average tab per person without drinks is under $15. Hunger and curiosity led Randall to a little hideaway in San Leandro. Here he uncovered a rare culinary find, authentic Liberian cuisine. He now tells all his friends and anyone who will listen about this tiny West African restaurant featuring savory stews served with the helping of history at Kendija Restaurant. Kendija comes from a town in Liberia and it was the epic culture center of the whole country where artists went to learn how to draw, how to sing, how to carve. My name is Douglas Yuso. Uh, everybody calls me Dougie, and I'm the owner of Kennejar Restaurant, the only Liberian restaurant, or should I say the best Liberian restaurant in California. I may be a little biased, but I think Liberia has the best West African cuisine, period. And the reason for that is because Liberia was founded by free blacks. The first eight Liberian presidents were all actually born in the States, and they went back to Africa. So half of the food that we eat in Liberia is, I would say, southern-infused. Collard greens, eggplant, fried okra, oxtails, cabbage, and the other half of our menu are more traditional dishes. With the restaurant, I try to give you the Liberian food, give you the Liberian culture. We play African music in the back, we play sports in the front, and we try to let you feel like you're actually visiting a friend's house, but it's actually a restaurant. All right, Randall, Liberian cuisine. Now, this is an interesting combination, really, of kind of African, West African cuisine with a little bit of the American South. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I really enjoyed about it. Mm -hmm. Like you get a little bit of history, a little bit of food. First, when you walk in, like the murals on the yeah. wall, mm -hmm. and then there's a map, and then like I don't know, just like so much, so much to learn. Mm -hmm. Like, and you'll sit down at the table, and they have these like little cards that actually mm -hmm. like tell you a little bit yeah. about yeah, the history right. of Liberia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when I go there, every time I have to get the oxtail stew. I think that's like by far their like standout mm -hmm. dish. It comes with rice and beans on the side, and then the stew itself has like chunks of oxtail and carrot, a really hearty stew, and you just like scoop it onto your plate with the rice and beans, and the, it just soaks up all that flavor. And they also have another dish that's the acheque with fish, mm -hmm. and acheque is kind of like a grated cassava, and it's a little bit like couscous, and it comes with a sauce on top that's made with like peppers and onions. And then, of course, the star is the fish. It's like a whole fried fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I had the cheque too. So the fried fish, we can talk about. We can talk about that all day. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It's like super crispy on the outside and yeah. delicious. And then you just get in there, and it's like the flaky, like meaty fish. Mm -hmm. Really good. Yeah. When um when I put my fork in it, it goes past the skin, right? And then the meat of the fish almost like plopped mm. up so I was like oh this is gonna be good <laughs> like there's no way this is gonna be yeah. bad and it's so it's so soft on the inside and juicy and tender um, and it's just it's just delicious and it's actually it's always fun to eat a whole fish mm -hmm. like to have yeah. it in front of you it's like an right. adventure anyway right so we didn't get appetizers we just went head in and just got a <laughs> bunch of entrees and, and shared it so uh -huh. we got the jollof rice which was my particular favorite so I've never had like it's basically Liberian fried rice mm -hmm. who's mm -hmm. I haven't had mm -hmm. that before yeah. um, so I loved it, it was so delicious. So I wanna thank you for finding this place because it was just a great experience for me because my family's from the South. So right. I grew up eating Southern food. So it was such a trip to walk into a restaurant and have this familiar but different food yeah. right. that, that I've been you know, so eating my whole life but in a completely, in a different way. Right, you because know? those Southern touches yeah. are really woven right. into the cuisine. And Absolutely. yeah, and the owner, I got a chance to talk to the owner and he mm -hmm. was saying that of the eight presidents from Liberia, nine 
nine of them were from the north, one of them was from the south, and mm -hmm. he takes particular pride in that particular president because of the cuisine that's in the south. And you know, southern people, we have an attitude about food with these <laughs> best anyway, so you know. What well, did you be think honest, of? Yeah. The star of the show is the owner of the, the yeah. 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 He yes. could not have been kinder. He was so incredibly nice. I went with a group of kids, like I'm always with, and the kids, of course, were rowdy, but he could not have been kinder. Yeah. And then speaking of the jollof rice, he recommended that for the children, but then that was my favorite, and I ate the whole thing, so they didn't get very much of it at all. Not a sure. But my daughter, she loved the chicken wings. We got the chicken wings as an appetizer, mm -hmm. and she usually, you know, chicken wings have the spicy buffalo sauce on them. Mm -hmm. They didn't have, they just had kind of like a dry rub on them, mm -hmm. and she apparently got that from me, would not share them with anybody <laughs> else, and ate all of the chicken wings herself. Good for her. Yeah. We like her. The other thing we got that was slightly a disappointment um, was the fufu stew. I think that's more traditional. I think more it just wasn't my speed. It, the mm -hmm. broth was way too um, fishy tasting for me. Mm -hmm. It um, seemed like it was mostly just fish stock. It had this big dumpling in the middle, which was pretty good. But I wanted to order, because I know um, there's actually a lot of really good African beers, mm -hmm. but they didn't have any African beers on the menu. I was kind of disappointed with that. For the other beverages, they did have a ginger beer and mm -hmm. a hibiscus that mm -hmm. are African in nature. Okay. Like I, I, I didn't, never knew there was African mm -hmm. hibiscus and African ginger beer. We, I just have not, haven't had that before. And what about the beans, too? Beans to Borgi, I believe it's pronounced. And it comes with rice on the side also. And it's a pretty thick and hearty stew. It comes with the smoked herring and the turkey and chicken as well. Mm -hmm. It's like all that uh, meat kind of like just cooks down. The stew becomes super flavorful. Is that yeah. a special, like on one of the yeah, days? Yeah, it's okay. one of the rotating mm -hmm. specials. Yeah, you gotta make sure you go on yeah. the right day for the <laughs> you things you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The portions are humongous, like super uh -huh. hearty food too. The portions so like, are huge. Did you feel like you got value in this? Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. The portions are gigantic. We yeah. took a bunch home, yeah. great value. All mm -hmm. right, your spot, Randall, wrap it up for us. I'd say Kendija is a true neighborhood gym where you can experience unique food and culture. All right, and Jocelyn? Oh, well, come on. When was the last time you've been to a Liberian <laughs> restaurant? You need to go experience it. And Angela? If you're curious about what Liberian food is like with one of the friendliest owners you will ever meet, go to Kendija. All right, if you would like to try Kendija restaurant, it's on Pelton Center Way at Washington in San Leandro. The telephone number is 510-756-6049. It's open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $20. What's in a name? Is this wine called Pinot Grigio or is it Pinot Gris? Guess what? It's both. The name means Pinot Grey, Grigio in Italian, and Gris in French. Though we know it as a white wine, the grape's color refers to its coppery hue, while the word Pinot refers to the pine cone shape of the grape cluster. And yes, it's related to Pinot Noir, meaning Pinot Black. In northern Italy, the best examples come from mountainous places like Trentino, Friuli, and Alto Adige, where they showcase crispy citrus flavors, while in France's Alsace region, Pinot Gris are more full-bodied and ripe. In New Zealand, Pinot Gris is making a splash, while here, Oregon's Willamette Valley is proving to be the home of great Pinot Gris that bridges the gap between Italian freshness and France's fleshiness. Hmm, I just, I can't decide. Jocelyn has been visiting her Oakland eatery for nearly two decades. It's more than just the delicious, authentic Thai food that makes her place feel like home. It's the special nooks, efficient service, and pride with which the food is served. Fond memories bring her back to Siam Bay authentic Thai cuisine. I love to cook. I learned how to from my mom since I'm nine years old. Always follow mom to the kitchen. My name is Rita. I'm the chef and the owner of Siambe Authentic Thai Cuisine. My mom, she came from the southern of Thailand. And the food is very tasty and very strong. I always help her and cook with her all the time. When we opened the business over here, she said, you have to do everything by yourself, don't get from the jar. Because if you cook for the people, you have to think cook for yourself. If you cook for yourself, you do the best. 
every morning we go to shopping and like a tofu, we buy only one or two for today. Tomorrow we buy another one. And bean sprouts or mushroom, everything fresh, it's green, it's still firm. Customer, when they come here, I want to let them know I do fresh curry for them and all the food I cook fresh after you order. Cook for yourself, not cook for somebody. And you cook for yourself is the best. <laughs> All right, Jocelyn, 20 years you've been going to this place. Yes. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And what is it that brings you back time and time again? It's a combination of the food and the owner. It's just, it is quite a family feel when you go there. So I always get the same appetizers, I always get the same desserts, and then I always get something different as an entree. So for the appetizers, one of my favorite things in the world to eat, it's called Mien Kham, mm -hmm. and it's basically like a lettuce wrap. So instead of the lettuce, there's a, a Mien, that's the type of leaf it is. And then inside are these little tiny bites of a lot of different things. So there's a dried shrimp, there's a, a piece of lime, there's some coconut that's been toasted, there's a little red onion, and um, there's a peanut. So there's all these different textures and flavors. So they're sweet, they're salty, there's citrusy, and they all work together. So none of them are fighting each other. It's, it's, it's the best. You love it. Love it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> and what did you start with, Randall? I had the larb salad with pork, and that was just like a flavor explosion right yeah. off the bat. Just like, the bite from the onions, you had like a little like citrus from the lime and like the cilantro and it's just like so much flavor, a little heat from the chili, it was really good. I look at the larva, it's like I want to yeah. get it, but I can't stop with it when I get it. Yeah. We have to order two next time. Right. So we went at lunchtime on a weekday, so <laughs> we got the lunch buffet, so we got to try a lot of different things, wow. which was nice. Were there a lot of choices at the There buffet? was. I would say there was probably at least five or six different entree choices. Mm -hmm. They had dessert, they had mm -hmm. salad. Um, I judge every Thai restaurant by the rice. I love their Thai fried rice, so I, I tend to always get the crab fried rice. I'll get the crab version of it. I mean, who doesn't love huge chunks? of crab in the midst of some delicious fried rice. Um, and I love also, because I love eggs, huge chunks. It was like, just kind of like cuts it once or twice and then throws it <laughs> in there, but I love it. And then one more dish that I love to have are the, on the menu it's called grilled mussels, but he uh -huh. calls them barbecued mussels. And it comes in this um, round tray and then inside is just a plethora of fried garlic, but I'm telling you, it is so good. It was on the buffet when we went. Oh, they had it on the buffet that day. Everybody yeah, had to everybody, eat that. Yeah, everybody, so with all the garlic. everybody loved it. My fr I had two friends who just loved it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm re, so we lived in Oakland before we moved to the peninsula, and I have a favorite Thai restaurant in Oakland, so when I saw this, I was like, like I <laughs> don't know. It's not gonna be as good as mine. <laughs> I went in apprehensive, and the one thing that did disappoint me is I'm kind of basic and that I love chicken pad thai. It is one of my mm -hmm. favorite dishes and we ordered it for the kids to start with and the noodles were really mushy which is odd because then when you go to the buffet they had pad thai noodles and they were great. Yeah. So I was like I mm. think maybe we just got a bad order or something right, so right. that was like the one disappointment mm -hmm. but the yellow curry at the um, buffet was amazing. All three of my friends and, and I who went loved the yellow curry over the rice mm -hmm. which was cooked and my daughters again the rice both just mm -hmm gobbled up. They kept asking, can I get another bowl of rice? Can I yeah. get another bowl of rice? Uh -huh. Can I get another bowl of rice? <laughs> <laughs> My husband and I actually had a date set for that Saturday night to go for dinner and I'm putting in the directions of my GPS to get there and it says close. I'm like, wait a second, it can't be closed on a Saturday night. But then it is in downtown Oakland, so I think maybe it serves more of like a business, like yeah. people going right. at lunch and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, it's good yeah. to note it's though. Definitely, mm -hmm. because we really wanted to go for dinner like mm -hmm. a date and try one, because it is cute, it has those nooks yeah. that you can sit in like for a date night. It would be really cute for a date mm -hmm. night to go. Randall, did you sit in a nook? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was really nice. <laughs> They're cute, aren't they? We had the tom yum soup, which I think was my favorite thing that mm -hmm. I ordered that Soup's day. Good. It came in this like uh, metal bowl that was really interesting. It had mm -hmm. like a flame in the middle. Yeah. It was really cool. And like you kind of serve yourself out of the bowl. A little bit of spice and a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. Like everything there was so flavorful. It was really good. Did you guys have dessert? Dessert, another favorite of mine of all time is sticky rice. And mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. he tends to have mango most of the time you go there. Mm -hmm. But then we also throw in coconut ice cream. So the, the creaminess and the sweet of the rice mixed with that mango, which is just a little bit more tropical feel, is a great bite. On top of the ice cream, which you could eat alone, the mm -hmm. ice cream is so delicious. But then if you have like a bite of that cold, cold ice cream with that, and it's hot, the, the rice is hot with that hot sticky rice, it's 
It's it's a dream. I didn't it get is. it with the ice cream. Next time I'll have to get it with the that's ice cream. Now you know the trick. Don't go on Saturday yeah, and get the sticky rice ice cream. They had a dessert at the buffet, which was a banana tapioca. It was not my favorite. I'm not a tapioca person, so well, that probably see, has to do with tapioca it. Tapioca haters break my heart. Like every yeah. time somebody says they hate them, like that's so sad. No, it's true. I've had that too, and I right? love tapioca. Tapioca is delicious. You're All right, against, your you're spot. <laughs> wrap it up. Siam Bay is a hidden gem in the city of Oakland. Go to eat the delicious food. It's a great experience all around. All right, and Randall. Siam Bay is a great spot to get flavorful, authentic food with friendly service. All right, and Angela. If you are in downtown Oakland and craving good Thai food with a friendly atmosphere, go to Siam Bay. All right, if you would like to try Siam Bay authentic Thai cuisine, it's on clay at 10th in Oakland. The telephone number is 510-452-1499. It's open for lunch and dinner Monday through Friday, dinner only on Sunday. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $20. I have to thank my great guests on this week's show, Angela Diaz, whose kid-centric venue led us to the chewy pizza crust at the family-friendly All Good Pizza in San Francisco, and Randall Wu, whose culinary expeditions unearthed the rare taste of Liberian cuisine at Kendija Restaurant in San Leandro, and finally, Jocelyn Williams, whose walk down memory lane welcomed us home into the proud arms of Siam Bay authentic Thai cuisine in Oakland. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers, everyone. So now it's your turn. We want to hear from you if you visited any of our Check Please restaurants. You can post a selfie on Instagram, join the conversation on Facebook, and tweet us anytime. And don't forget to visit our website. All the shows are there, along with my wine videos and notes about the wines we drink on set. You'll also find our fun new web series, Taste This, where we celebrate food and drinks around the Bay. Cheers. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. IRG has thousands of surfaces in stock now. Surfaces. Selection. Service. IRG at MarbleCompany.com. Total Wine and More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine and More, now with eight Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. Sutter Health CPMC announcing its newly opened Mission Bernal Hospital with all private rooms and comprehensive labor and delivery services. SutterHealth.org slash Mission Bernal. Redwood Credit Union, community banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Business and personal, online and mobile, plus nationwide ATMs. Banking for people who call this place home.